almost like a spaceship. <laughs> like a spaceship, but unlike a spaceship, because I imagine a spaceship's like, right? This is like, Hey, how's it going? Ryan Hughes here with the awesome Ford. It has officially landed the first Mach-E. Um, I found out about it because a ton of my salespeople ran out and started freaking out over it. So I got it all cleaned up and decided I'd take it for a drive for the first time and see what I think about it. So as you notice when you walk over here, no door handles, which I think is pretty cool. So right there is a button. All you gotta do is hit that button. Door comes open, just grab that. And you're gonna go right in. I'll meet you on the other side. I don't think I'll ever get over how cool these doors open. I really like it. First thing I notice when you get inside is these seats. They're probably the most comfortable seat that I've actually sat in in any Ford vehicle. They're just, I don't know, extra cushion or something. They're super, super comfortable. You got push, start, push button start right here. Start it up, gigantic screen. So the one thing that I learned about this vehicle, if you go up here, touch the actual vehicle, a whole bunch of different modes here. You got drive modes, and the one nice thing I like is information will tell you about the exact driving mode. Naturally, that's gonna be me. So right down here is the dial. Go ahead and turn it to drive. And let's just go see. Take my phone out, put it in here. We got wireless charging right there. Everything too seems to kind of like be in place. That's one thing that I really, really like about boards. Everything's just right where it's supposed to be. Okay, so we'll turn it in drive and uh, we're gonna go. So the one thing you will know when you're driving all electric, it's, it's instantaneous. When you press the gas, it goes. So now right away, something that was kind of caught me off guard is as soon as I let off this gas pedal, I don't even touch the brake, I just let off the gas pedal, the vehicle is actually coming to a complete stop for me. On this vehicle, you do have one pedal drive. So again, if you go to information, it tells you that you can drive this vehicle with, with just the gas pedal. Um, and basically what happens is it'll, it'll, the vehicle, once you let off the accelerator, it'll actually start stopping the vehicle. Uh, depending on if there's traffic stuff, obviously they're saying you still will need to use it. I don't see me never not using it, just so accustomed to it. So I'm gonna turn mine off. All right, so pulled over a little bit just to give you some more views of what we've got. Like I said, we went over the driving mode. Um, you can go to settings, it'll take you all. One cool thing I like about this is, you know, with the radio, depending who's in, you actually just touch this right here and you just bring it wherever you want your music to go and it actually shows you where the music's gonna go. So if you're just by yourself, just put it right there in the driver's seat. If you got some people with you, just put it right there so it's pretty equal. Or if you're just up front, just drag it right up front. As I'm driving it, you know, mentioned, uh, you know, it, it being called the Mustang. Obviously all brand new, being all electric, it's, it's new to the market for us. Uh, but I do, I challenge you, come down, look at the vehicle, just test drive it. I mean, this is the future that's coming and eventually um, there's gonna be more and more vehicles that Ford produces that are gonna be all electric. So this one happens to actually be a demo model. Uh, we have to keep it in stock. I believe it's four, four months or 4,000 miles that we're gonna keep it in the, in the loaner status anyway. So that's the whole reason why we have this, this current vehicle is for you to come down and drive it. So even if you have no remote interest in purchasing an electric vehicle or a new vehicle at this time, I still highly suggest you just come down. Just come down, look at the new technology, take it for a ride, because it, it really is, uh, it's, not, it's nothing like I've ever drove before. So I'm gonna get on the freeway. I am gonna step on it just a little bit because um, like I'm explaining, the power is so instantaneous and it's very smooth. And my Mustang, obviously it's got a lot of power being the V8. It's not as smooth um, as this is gonna be like just super smooth. There's just nothing. There's no, no jerking back and forth, no, no nothing. It's just completely smooth. I give it a little bit more pedal it goes a little bit faster. I let off, it just lets off. So most of the time you think about all electric, strictly saving saving on that, you know, saving on the fuel, you know, um, all that. But this one, Ford made it fun to drive. I know, I think that's why they inspired it to be the Mustang because they wanted this not only to be, you know, all electric, save on the fuel, but I think they wanted it to be fun to drive. And so far, it is fun to drive. And I really do believe if I wouldn't have already got my V8 Mustang, this is probably a good candidate. I don't think, I think in my near future, I might end up buying one of these. Cause this, 
And this one's not even the GT model. This is just the premium. So I could only imagine the GT model, how much more power that one has and how much more fun to drive. But I don't think anybody's going to be disappointed after driving it. So I do, like I said, come down. It's a demo model. Feel free to drive it, mess with all the controls, you know, spend, spend a couple hours in it, spend 10 minutes in it, whatever you want. Just come look at it. Um, sound system in it's good. The seats are super comfortable. It's fun to drive. Handles super nice. I'm this thing is I'm really blown away. Almost like a spaceship. <laughs> like a spaceship, but unlike a spaceship, because I imagine a spaceship's like right? This is like you know, we've had gas vehicles forever and everybody wants gas vehicles, but it's like the smartphone when the smartphone first came out, right? And then you have this flip phone and it's like that's all you need. That's all you need. Well it's like now I don't know what I would do without my smartphone, right? And at first it was like ultra intimidating and and I don't know if I need that, and the screen's too big, and now, now it's like, I don't know what I'd do without it. So I'm sure soon, right, that's what this is gonna be like. I'll be driving one of these to work, and I'm like, well, I can't believe I had that gas vehicle for so long, this thing is amazing. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Challenge you guys, come on down, take it out for a ride.